Let's talk about disaster recovery testing. When it comes to DR testing, we of course, when we're designing a cloud application, we really need to identify areas that we're going to actually uh, ensure that is going to be available not only on the primary site, but on the secondary site. So we need to devise basically a BCDR process. And as part of that, Again, a subject here far wider than what we would have time in a, a short course like this, but basically we need to identify KPIs. These are key performance uh, indicators. We also need to look at the RPO and RTO, so the recovery point objective and the recovery time objective. When it comes to testing a DR plan, we want to simulate, we want to have a cutover, we want a parallel test, and also have a paper test as well. Now, each of these, of course, are going to entail different levels of effort. Now, the paper exercise, we want to use to basically get an idea of uh, how it would play out from a visual perspective so that we can figure out before we actually go to a simulation or cutover uh, test, we want to just get an idea of how it might play out. When it comes to costing, we need to look at best practices, the schedule, the scope, success criteria, etc. Now, when it comes to looking at applications that we're going to have part of a DR plan, we of course need to realize that each of these applications are going to have a different level of availability in a lot of cases. They might have a different level of uh, costing or budgets as well. So we may not be able to replicate everything that we need. Uh, so we need to identify what the uh, proper what the proper RTO is, for example, what the proper RPO. Uh, again, trying to understand if we have a disruption, how long um, could we actually uh, last without having substantial, uh, basically, costs to recover, uh, but also costs to the business. For example, downtime in a lot of industries could cost millions of dollars per hour. And these are things we need to really identify. The main thing for the exam is to, to understand the different ways to test a DR plan. Uh, each of these entail different levels of effort. Simulation, as, as we're likely aware, is where we're going to basically play out a disaster and really figure out how it might actually work out. A cutover is where we take the production and, and actually switch it over, typically like an A-B test, where we take one um, production uh, environment and maybe flop it over, basically, through DNS to another um, live application uh, instance, for example. Parallel is where we run both of the instances at the same time. Uh, and that way, that sort of uh, can validate that everything is going to work highly uh, available in HA perspective. And then we know paper is more of a uh, drill that we sort of draw things out, write things down, and sort of plot out if that makes sense or not. 